an important part of every termite inspection is inspecting the subfloor. Not every property has got a subfloor, but if your property does have a subfloor, you need to have your gear ready, your knee pads, your mask, your torch, screwdriver, and go through the subfloor. You need to look for evidence of termite activities in your subfloor. Unless you got the full gear, you may not be able to crawl all the way to the end. Now, you may have heard of an expression, ant capping. This is ant capping. It's a metal shield between the brickwork and the timber joists and bearers. Now, this ant capping will not protect the timber from termites, but if termites want to get into this timber, they have to bypass this. So they come out here and make a huge mound before they get into your timber. So if you hear that your pest controller says you don't have an ant capping, that means, or the ant capping is incomplete, that means that this metal shield is not between your timber and the brickwork all around. You need to do something about it to make sure you don't get a surprise termite entry to your timber without being able to see them. When you are inspecting a subfloor, there are a few things you need to check. Is the subfloor damp? If there is a lot of moisture in the subfloor, it attracts termites. What can you do about it? Maybe you can improve the drainage. So in this subfloor, the soil seems to be very dry. That is very good. However, I can see there is a leakage happening here. Now this needs to be addressed and you need to make sure that the leakage in the subfloor ceases to exist. Why? This leakage will attract termites. So I've got a bucket here. All I need to do is put it underneath it. While going under your subfloor, it's important to check all the timber. Now, corners are likely to be attacked by termites as well. You have to crawl and go as far as possible, physically possible, and check for any signs of termites. While checking all the joists and bearers and floorboards, you may also come across loose timber on the ground, like this one. I can see sign of termite damages already in this one. It's important to remove all the loose timber from the subfloor because if termites come around the subfloor first, they go to this timber and then they got a better chance to get into your uh, timber at home and eat your home timbers. I'm in this subfloor with active coptothermies um, in the uh, joists and in the barriers. Now, sometimes coptothermies, the soldiers make some noises when they get agitated and they want to scare ants away or their enemies away. Uh, they are making a little bit of noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but I bring it close to see if you can hear it.
Now if you want to see some live termites, I use my snake camera to show you some live termites. Yeah, they are definitely agitated. Cup to termies. We see again some more evidence of termite muddings. They come all the way up. And in fact, they bypassed the ant capping because again, the ant capping wasn't laid well. And they come on this side. Now, the reason that they came up is this timber bench in the subfloor. It's important you clear your subfloor from timber structure because that's when they start and they start their workings and eating that timber and then come further up to your property to see if there is more timber to eat. In this case there is these timber joists and floorboards where they could help themselves to. Now let's see if we see any activity inside these muddings and if they are, how do they look like? Very gently, again, the rule of thumb is not to disturb them too much and we don't want to want them to run away so it's easier to treat them. Okay, let's dig this one out. Yeah, I saw one fell off. They are in fact there, I saw one, but let's see. If... Yep, yeah, it's coming out. This is a soldier. Now these are soldiers of the species Coptothermes. Now this soldier wants to scare me away so he acts defensively. When you are in the subfloor, what you are looking for is the mud trails of termites. As you see here, we got some mud trails going up and this is the ant capping the metal shield looks like termites were able to bypass that and get inside I just cut a little bit here to see if I see any live ones doesn't look like active but let's see if we cut a little bit more oh yeah coming down this is a coptothermy soldier is getting his head out to see what's happening right so we don't disturb them anymore we now know we got active termites in the subfloor and we need to do something about it you need to make sure you check not only all the timber 
but all the brick walls too. What did we just saw here? Wow! This is a termite mud workings going from dirt all the way up to the timber. Now the size is not a small. This one is a very big mud tunnel. Just make a little cut in the muddings. See what's happening. Yep, yeah, termites are coming in. Now we don't want to disturb them. So these little fellows are the ones that will go into the roof and eat the roof. Now the one that is out at the bottom is a soldier. Its job is just to protect. But the one above that is a worker. As you see, they got a little different in color. While inspecting the subfloors, you sometimes come across something so amazing. A suspicious mudding hanging right into the subfloor. See, as you see, it's not connected to the earth yet. Looks like termites are building a tunnel or a bridge from a timber joist in the subfloor to the ground. So termites are working to get to the earth from the top to the bottom and they are building this to see if they can get to the ground. When you are in the subfloor you need to make sure you got overall mask, gloves, everything. Sometimes you may come across big spiders and you don't know what sort they are. After inspecting subfloor, inspecting roof voids is perhaps second most important part of the property to inspect. However, I recommend you not to inspect it yourself unless you have some training in crawling into the roof void. It can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. From this distance, you wouldn't see any problems. But see what happens when we get closer. We see termite damage here. And we see termite mudding in this area. Have a look at this timber. They made a huge damage here. Yep, yeah, there you go. This is a Coptotermy soldier. One of the vicious species around. 